Alright, what's up guys? So, Cold Blue Cam has uploaded a video titled, Man Rips Up His Cash Over Seatbelt Ticket. I don't care how bad, like, you know, a situation gets. And I'm, I'm more so talking on, like, something, like, I guess in the same ballpark as a situation like this. Where, yeah, let's say I'm getting a, a, a speeding ticket, seatbelt ticket um you know got my phone out while driving not that i was saying i'm i would go out and do those things but you know yeah let, let's just say like you know yeah i just somehow some way forget and yeah cop pulls me over and he gives me a ticket the thing is is this i can't be mad at that cop that cop's doing his job all right so that's why i'm like and then on top of that to rip up my hard-earned cash nah can't do that can't can't even do that i don't even want to like waste my money in a video game let alone like in a in actual like real life stuff like no nah, i i can't i can't do that that that's a that's a no can do for me so but no nah, let's go ahead check out this video guys if you haven't make sure you go subscribe to code blue camp Bl Cold Blue. I've did, I've been reacting to so many different like uh cop videos like Cold. I uh, no, I said it right. Oh, I just okay. I I think it has a lot to do with the fact that it's it's past two a.m. and I should be asleep right now. But I'm like, no, I gotta you know get some videos done for the night. But anyways, on July first, two thousand twenty-two. Racine County Sheriff's deputies observed the driver of a vehicle not wearing his seatbelt in Raymond, Wisconsin. As part of the and people don't be sitting down there because and I know people probably think like oh that's such a petty reason to give out a ticket but I'm like there's been so many times where a person has been driving a car and I'm pretty sure that's why they enforce that seatbelt law but it's like yeah like you're driving a car somebody goes out in front of you you slam into them and stuff go flying out your wind um uh, yeah your windshield now your face is sitting there scraping all across the ground and it looks like some crazy scene out of a movie and I'm like bro rather than like okay wear your seatbelt yeah you know you might get like clotheslined a little bit and things but what would you rather deal with get clotheslined by your own seatbelt where it ain't gonna really do that much damage or go flying out your windshield sheriff's office click it or ticket campaign a traffic stop was initiated they ain't sound like he flying as the deputies were pulling him over they observed the 36 year old male driver hastily putting on his seatbelt like uh, too late oh, 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 too late that? now see that mm -hmm. oh, you gonna point at me five three response traffic southbound g right i'm now. like but and that's I, the thing is, is this you know I guess like how, how can I put this like overall like I would like all right yeah I probably would you know do something like that put on my seatbelt but I would acknowledge the fact that you know like yeah that no nope, that was a mistake I'm like you know rushing trying to go out somewhere and stuff and it just it slipped my mind so no like you whatever you guys do I'm like nah that like this literally you know it's your guys' choice you give me a ticket you give me a ticket it's something where it's like I can't necessarily like argue with you it's like no you caught me so hi there i'm wrt's with the racine county sheriff's office stuff because your seatbelt isn't on and we're actually out you put it on when we're pulling it behind you i watched you that's not true and he looked forward, so <laughs> wow i watched you put it on we're not gonna argue about it i like how the passenger the way that she's sitting she she's like bruh this i you know i tried telling him i tried telling him time after time put your seatbelt on when you get in the car you know listen so i stopped telling them so if if she gives out like like the bare minimum of a reaction throughout this whole like ordeal and things yeah she she's she's been through this run around before so he wow ten dollars i bro i thought this was gonna be i don't know why i was like i think it was gonna be a crazy amount or something i'm like nah ten dollars i'm like look bro if, if that's something where i know i could afford to give out that's just a mistake i'm like okay i can't make that mistake too many times because i imagine like yeah probably first offense ten dollars second offense it'll probably be like fifty dollars third offense i might get jail time i don't know how it, it works wherever he's at but yeah i i ain't trying to i ain't trying to go past them three strikes so driver's license and insurance okay? i'm not giving you enough it's not driver's totally license wow insurance. he's really putting up an argument difficult than it has to be your driver's license and insurance sir do you see this sir do you want to be forcibly removed past me you were not wearing a seatbelt that's not true i have this on driver's license and insurance sir 
Are you planning on killing us today? No, you're not going to kill you. Okay, it's like, bro, look, you could have been freaking from Parts Unknown where Kane was at for the longest time before we found out that this man was like, cause no, like that just, you know, little WWE reference. I'm like, bro, I don't care where you, who, who you are, where are you from? That don't matter to me. I'm like, they, <laughs> I'm saying, I'm like, dude, I'm like, okay, well, I'm like you, if, if you were anything else, you just let me know what language that you, you know, where you're from, like where you guys, um, like, or what you overall speak speak and i'll say it in that language i'll google translate it whatever but it's like bruh squash all that the seatbelt when you drove past me we saw you putting it on while we were behind you you can argue this all day long and no. make this even worse for yourself otherwise just give us this the that's UID crazy and the insurance sir what do you want my money driver's license and insurance sir like your you're making a big driver's license and insurance that's sir. crazy you're making a bigger deal out of this than it has to be for my seatbelt yes man? Yep. Why? Well, I have my seatbelt You have a traffic on. violation. Your seatbelt was not on, sir, so can you have your driver's license and insurance? With your body camera, I have my seatbelt on. Yes, sir. Running, right? Abruptly, he became erratic and started That's crazy. to destroy his possessions, such as his sunglasses and the money in his wallet. Because I watched you put them on, sir. Now, please put them on where I'm going to ask you to step out of the vehicle. And when I do so, that's a lawful order. And if I have to, I can forcefully remove you from the vehicle, sir. All right? I broke my glasses. You like that? Yeah. I'm like, what? Well, that's your problem. Wow. Okay, this guy got child. anger like, issues. You're acting like a child. I want your driver's license and your insurance. Here's everything I have. Here's my money. Here's my You're money. acting like a child, sir. Here's my car. Here's everything. Your driver's license, sir. Hand it to me. Wow. Take this too. Take that. Your driver's license, sir. This guy got serious anger issues. Over a ten dollar ticket, bro. That's yeah. That's something where it's just and and you guys sit down and think about because I know there's probably people. I I just have a feeling like with me doing these videos and then me overall saying like how I will act in a situation where it's like I look I want to have very minimum you know interactions and stuff it is not like you know like oh i got like a, a problem or issue with police officers and things although i do have f the f the police saved on my spotify but it's, it's a good song like i don't i don't like mean that to but it's just you know them cops that be out there acting shady it look like i said i know i didn't have my seatbelt on that's something i'm not gonna argue with that not and i feel like yeah going through all this now you're really getting the ticket versus like no nah, you guys caught me i tried to hurry up and put it on but i'm like nope y'all saw it like something to like laugh about you know and then just be all like all right so no nah, it's like i do i pay here do i pay like do i have to go somewhere or go to a website and something like whatever the situation is i'm like nah i gotta pay it i'm like that it's just you know it's it's the law. I'm like, it's just, it's because it's, you guys, you guys see it as this. If you enforce a rule in your house, right? Now I get like, if you don't know or you forget, slip the mind, whatever. I'm like, all right, you know, you forgot. It's cool. Don't even worry about it. But if it's a reoccurring thing, then it's like, okay. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I'm like, I just, I don't know what this guy's situation is. Like, if it's a reoccurring thing, but it, it just, it comes off as like as it is. Cause yeah, I felt like maybe if this probably would have been like his first time dealing with this. And, it, and it's like, they said it was a $10 ticket. So it's like, bruh, I, I imagine you're in a, I don't know. I, I don't know this man's personal situation, but I imagine, like, you know, like, I feel like he has $10 to, you know, to just pay a ticket and go on about your day. Now, like, hundreds of dollars, then okay, but I'm like, fam, that could, I think that's how it is out here, where it's like, in Washington, no, they're they're serious about that stuff, so it's like, I'm telling you people, wear your seatbelt. $500 for my fucking family. That's great. Uh, Driver's license, sir. He is really ripping up his money. Are you, are you intoxicated, sir? Bullshit. What kind of drugs are you on, sir? Well, yeah, here's a, you need this too. We'll just rip that up too. What kind of wow. drugs are you on, sir? Your driver's Bullshit. license. Go get it. Take it. Take whatever I'm not you going want. into your vehicle, take, sir. Take my, take my Can I have your driver's line. license, please? This take guy is up. crazy. Here, take this. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, so you can take so, my money. So you can take my money. Remain in the vehicle, sir. I'll be back take up my with money. you, okay? Look, I have my seatbelt on. You take my fucking money. That's crazy. Bullshit. Either, either that's like his like sister, close cousin, or the wife. That's like you know what? I'm I'm only in the marriage 
because like she like i we would have to hear her reason if the, if that is that man's wife i i would love to hear the reason on why she's still married to this guy because i'm like nah this guy he has i it's it's probably on some stuff where it's like she has to be there with him just to make sure that he doesn't go out because he seems like the type where he road rages he'll if you cut him in line he feel like he has to like put on it i mean well he just put on a big old giant show over a ten dollar ticket but like you could be like at target or something cut this man in line and he he has to alert everybody in the store that you cut him in line well there's some other thing oh he he's definitely the type of person that'll probably um like go and call like go off on like a game of call of duty or whatever like i just i i ain't gonna say that he'll like you know use uh call you a hard r but i'm just saying like he he just comes off as that guy where it's like he he just everywhere he goes so she has to probably be there to like remind him calm him down and all that stuff but yeah it's just it's it's one of those things where she today she was just fed up with it it's like you know they they didn't they didn't have have like her um you know this Johnny Cash album at some like music store that she didn't, um that she wanted to go to what are some other things didn't have her turtle candy and stuff at Target what are some other things she's going with it like yeah probably an Xbox Live membership done ran down she she could be a gamer I don't know but anyways yeah she she just today just wasn't her day Accusing me of something that's bullshit you can't ever enjoy life around here and I'll be harassed he is wow yeah you could tell he was definitely that kid in the classroom where it's like oh if the teacher told like teachers just simply just asked him like you know where's your homework and he's just all like oh i just you know i'm i'm looking for it and it's all like hey well, you know if you don't have it it's like you fail the class and things he's like oh I can't, I can't believe this. Like, no, I have came to class every day for this past year, and I've passed my assignments, and i done, and the teacher's probably just sitting there like, if you have your homework, give it to me. If you don't, you fail. Like, that's, that's, it. like, he, he's just, yeah, he's, he's one of those guys where it's like, yeah, you, you either can't bring him anywhere, or you have to go everywhere with him. That's exactly what's happening. It's like, you done? I will just fucking start dumping on my blood right now and give him that too. It's the situation. This dude's freaking out because we stopped him for a seatbelt and he put it on when we were behind him. Like literally freaking out. He's tearing up money and he's, he's freaking out. So if you just want to go up there with him while I run him out real quick and you shoot him this citation. That guy, yeah, I feel like whoever this cop is right here, he's probably just recording all of that, and he did probably gonna be doing like some uh like like class for like new recruits and things. He's like, okay, so there might be some days where you deal with like you know normal nice people. Like there's there's this YouTuber that I watch named T Moss Boss, and yeah, he he most of the time says like you know just you know relax, stay cool, listen to the cops' orders and all that stuff. Then you'll get this guy. <laughs> he'll he'll go from one of my YouTube videos to just cuts to this guy just acting like as weird as possible in his car. Like that's just man, it, it just still trips me out. Like he was really tearing his money up. <laughs> you can still hear him. It's like okay and <laughs> and like you know how many the thing is this i'm like do you understand how many people are upset like they literally money the thing is is this you know i'm extremely big on helping out people you know like if i know like a person they're struggling on whatever the situation is i'll do my best to help them whether it's giving them advice on how to acquire the tools that they need to get them through whatever they get through or if i have the tools to give out to them so i can help them out regardless i'm big on helping out people fam you could use that money to like to give out to the homeless or whatever i'm like you have to understand that there are people that are in much more jacked up situations than you and you're getting mad over a ticket like or it, it, it then on top of that if it's like if it's bread if it's a ten dollar ticket like i from what i from what i heard it sounded like it was 10 i don't know maybe he said 110 maybe he said something else but i think he said ten dollars i'm like but it's just man bro it wow and if it was over $10, I'm like, bro, you are, you must be cheap. And then it's like, he thinks that this, 
behavior and stuff is like gonna get him out of it it's it's, it's not if anything is gonna get you arrested because those guys are really like nah you're not that you're not acting normal right now so it's like are you He's done tearing up cash in his car and throwing it all over the place i have my seatbelt on and you're giving me a ticket for my seatbelt being on seat my seatbelt's on you give me a ticket you're taking my goddamn thing you're giving me a ticket for my damn seatbelt on you do not have a seatbelt on my seatbelt is on when you pull up to the stop my seatbelt is on it was on when we pulled up because you put it on when you got on the interstate. He, this is this, whoever this cop is that's standing here arguing with them. Today is his Friday and he just wants to have fun. I'm like, nah, whoever this cop is, hey, I'm like, that, that, that's me right there. I'm like, nah, if it's a Friday or my Friday and I just want to have fun, I've probably been arguing with the guy too. I'm like, look, bro, I'm like, how, how, how long you want to go on about this? I'm like, cause I, I got nothing but time. I'm like, I ain't supposed to clock out in the next two hours. I'm like, within these two hours, bro, we could have like literally like full blown presidential debates about this seatbelt i guarantee and i promise you you're not gonna be in the right i'm like it's you it's just it's it's not gonna happen i'm like i live seriously i've been calling up people i've been calling up my parents i called my sister up i've been all like okay so what usually happens when you don't have a seatbelt on and the cop pulls you over like oh yeah i'm just this guy i probably would have caused this guy to get into a high speed chase and then like yeah yeah most likely it caused them to get arrested so it, it's probably best that i'm not a cop because i'm like yeah it, i just all that paperwork and stuff yeah i just yeah it's, it's probably best that i'm not a cop but Anyways. That's not true. I see you're, delu on. you're delusional. My seatbelt is on. You pulled up to the traffic stop. Well, yeah, you had it on. My seatbelt is on. Hey, let me ask you something. So if I drive past you, right, and I don't have my seatbelt on, and then you get behind me, I put my seatbelt on, does that mean you that's have it on? That's not true. I'm not admitting guilt to anything. My seatbelt okay, is on. Not any guilt. And I saw you. I'm like, okay, forget the seatbelt. What was the reason of this, like, of this, like, fit that you just had? You know, like, I, bro, I'm like, I've seen, like, kids. I've seen toddlers that don't even be throwing fits like that. Like, that, that's, like, I, I don't, I don't get that. You know, I imagine, like, you overall earned that money from some sort of job and things. I'm like, what, are you a stripper? I'm like, he don't really look like he he's the type but i don't know I, I can't i can't really judge people on you know what their jobs and occupations are and stuff but yeah it's just, it's just it's one of those things where it's all like bro like money must not be an option to you if you just if you're willing to just do all of that and i'm like bro could have put yourself in jeopardy of being arrested like if the cop would have asked you to get out of the car and then you're not getting out then it's like yeah i'm saying it's it's one of those things where it's just bro you it's it you just don't know how lucky you just do not understand how lucky you are I can't afford a fucking ten dollar seatbelt ticket for no reason. You could He he can't. So it was wow, bro. I will literally send you the ten dollars. Like that's that's crazy. I afford it, but you ripped your money off. Those cash seats are uh, ten bucks. You know, he had like bucks? a bunch of singles and stuff. He he freaked out. I thought it was enough to drag him out of the car. Because that's all it is. All they do is collect revenue for the state. That's all it is. Collecting revenue. I got my seatbelt on. But yeah, it's like the only. Ten dollar oh. seatbelt ticket, like it's the end of the world. My seatbelt's on. I shouldn't be getting a ticket. I got my seatbelt on. I should have. We should just arrest him for obstructing, being an ass about it. Look, I got my seatbelt on. He's <laughs> Look at him. Man. It's on. We watched him put it on every turn behind him, and then he's like yelling in the fucking mirror and stuff. Bullshit. That's not right. That's not right. I won't do that to your kid. What was that? I can't hear you because motorcycles. <laughs> It's like, yep, but I'm pretty sure everybody that's enjoying the holiday remembers to put their seatbelt on. Harassed on my birthday weekend, being harassed, getting in trouble for having my seatbelt on. You guys caught the wrong day. He just spent $500 on his family, probably bought some illegal fireworks. Should ask him to see his permit. Jeez. We could be like those agencies that confiscate fireworks. Yeah. And then take pictures of it like it's a big drug keeper. <laughs> <laughs> the body camera's on, right? Oh, it's on. It's been recording this whole entire Good. thing. I'm going to sue your ass. Okay. Huh, sue okay. for a seatbelt. Yeah. Because you weren't wearing it. <laughs> I'm suing you guys because I can't legally do that. You, you can, can legally do it. the apartment, but I can take your money privately and take you to court. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. 
That's what you said. That's why I probably just about like, I'm like, hey, what's your KD on Call of Duty? I'm like, you know, just just curious. I've been asking this guy some like, oh, off the wall questions. I'm like, do you like cats or dogs? I'm like, you know, just just anything to just see. Because it seems like this seatbelt really got you like flustered right now. So I'm like, nah, let, let's just, you know, let's just change the subject and things. I'm like, look, look at this. Look at this, like this beautiful area over here. You know, the, the grass, it looked like some flowers, the clouds and all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, let's just, let's just take a moment. That's why I probably start talking to the wife. I'm like, you know, ma'am, I'm like, you realize there's an app called Tinder, right? <laughs> like, I just, okay, again, that's, see, that's why I'm not a cop. Because I, I feel like I overstep my boundaries on when I say certain things. I'm like, yeah, I just, okay, never mind, never mind. Take back, take back scenes. I am. That's how I took my body camera. I'm like, it, it wasn't, it wasn't on. <laughs> just, this guy is crazy, man. It's like some of my eyes don't work no more. Okay. Ten dollars you get a break. Well, you just tore your money up, so. Yeah, I'm pissed off because I shouldn't be getting trouble for something that I haven't seen before. Oh, Scott's got him calm down now. You're supposed to look both ways too when you're looking before you pull out, and that's what I was doing. You got the board. Well, it is. You got the board. You got nothing else better to do. Like the rest of the state. That's what he just like start every time because he he just he he doesn't want nobody else to talk. He wants to be heard. This man wants to be heard. So that's why I'm just like, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. I'm like, yep. Yep. I'm like, yep, that's that's no, that's right. No, you're 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 one hundred percent right. I'm like, no, I'm like, but no, we still gonna have to sit here and wait, you know, about this whole seatbelt thing. So I'm like, I, I will agree with everything. I have this man's mind so confused. Like I would agree with him on stuff, but then just turn right back around, just go all the way to the beginning and just be like, No, 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 you're still gonna get a ticket and stuff for this uh seatbelt thing, so my seatbelt on though. I do have my seatbelt on. I know, you have it on now. So when you drive away too, I hope you keep it on too. You have to wear seatbelts. That's why it's on. It's a law in Wisconsin and everywhere else. It is a law in Wisconsin. That's why you get a citation for not wearing it when you pull on the air. Give me a citation on camera for someone that you pull up on a stop and have your seatbelt on. Okay. How's that going to fly in court? I, when you go to court then, I will be there and I will testify to the fact Good. that you do not have your seatbelt on, sir. Freaking out over a ten dollar ticket. Yeah, man. You spent five hundred on his family. And the funny thing is, is like when he, you know, overall, like if he does decide to take it to court, I feel like that cop would use that body cam, like to show, like you know, overall. If it, if it's like one of those like jury type cases, and it ain't one of, the, I, I, cause I don't know, like, do they? I, I think no, they they have it where like the the case it can't be left up to the judge and things. But regardless, whether it's the judge or a jury, like somebody's gonna have to watch that video, and then they're gonna be looking like. And no, the thing is this: everybody's gonna have their reaction about that stuff, right? I would love to see his reaction to seeing himself on that camera, cause I'm like, yeah, that's you're carrying on like this. This this is you, sir. So. Yeah. It'll be two against one in the courtroom. It's gonna be you and your buddy. And then me sitting in the car with my seatbelt on. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, your car's gonna be in the courtroom? Wait, and you gonna have wow, that's that's some cool stuff right there. How are you gonna give someone a ticket for saying that they don't have something on when they have it on? I'm like, so what we do is we pull out this book, right? And then we usually will like write down a bunch of information, the reason why you're getting a ticket. We tear that out, okay? We then hand the ticket to you, all right? But we seen that you didn't have your seatbelt on. So that's when we write on there, oh, you know, driver didn't have his seatbelt on, so on and so on, whatever, like, law that's called and things. And then, yeah, you know, that's that's usually how we, we give out said ticket. But anyways. But yeah, like, nah, like, no, man, take it, take it to court. Fight it. Having my seatbelt on. I'm getting a ticket for having my seatbelt on. Yeah. That's not right. You guys aren't being cordial at all. You're being tired. I just spent 500 dollars Stuff for the family. And here I, I leave a place and these guys are staged up harassing people. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. I see right. on. Here's your information back, alright? I see belt on. It's I'm issuing you a citation for failure to wear your seatbelt. Right. It's on. Is your body right. camera on? I got okay. my seatbelt on, you know. It's been on. I'm happy it should have been on before you left. It was on. So it's ten dollars, alright? Ten dollars for the person. Yeah. And you're freaking out over ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yep, because we're doing a click it or ticket campaign. Hey, That's why we're out here. If you take some of your money together, maybe they, they'll help you out with yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Non-mandatory court date of August 11, 2022, at 2 p.m. at the Racine County Circuit you Court. You want ten dollars? We don't post bond here, all right? 
You have to pay honor before the court date. If you choose to pay, you pay online, in person, or by mail. Information on the bottom of the citation as well as on the bond envelope, which is self-explanatory. Okay? You have any questions? No. All right. Make sure you're buckled up before you leave next time, sir. All right. Be safe. Yeah, good eyes. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that guy, that guy is wild. Like, now he's still probably sitting there and talking to his wife, and his wife's just probably just sitting there and like, yep. Uh -huh. Give it a go. Nice day. Buckle up. That's crazy. In the end, the male driver was given the $10 traffic citation for vehicle operator $10. failure to wear a seatbelt, which he paid the following month. Wow. Head over to Code Blue Cam. That's crazy. And check out our great selection of quality made merch. That it's like you trip out that much over ten dollars, bro. I'm like, <sighs> it's just you know, that's it's crazy. It's just you know, at times I'm like, you see how people carry on about stuff, and it's like, fam, I just you know, I the the thing is, is this, I I feel like that, you know, there there might be a day where I get pulled over by a cop and, you know, heaven forbid, like anything crazy happens, like it's hopefully it's not one of those cops that's taking their job too seriously. But but let's just say, like, you know, I do get pulled over like, oh, the car was swerving a little bit or I didn't have my seatbelt on or I was going a little bit over the speed limit. I, I do feel like that, you know, if these videos like that I do where I've reacted to all this cop stuff, like if it's like big amongst the cop community watching these videos and things, I feel like I would get pulled over and then the cop is like, you know, it'll probably be on some stuff where he's like, bro, you be watching these videos. Like, how, how do you make that mistake? And I'm like, but the thing is this, I will own up to it. Okay, I know I made a mistake. That's stuff that I feel like where it's like I was I was taught that when I was young, where it's like if you make a mistake, you own up to it. If you get caught up, you own up, bro. I don't know how many times it's like if I break something in the house or if I get in something that I shouldn't be getting into. I'm like, no, nah, it's like if my parents confront me, it's like I yeah, it's like you know that initial moment you're scared because you don't want to get in trouble. But then it's like eventually it gets to some point in time where it's like you gotta just admit to that stuff, you know, own up to it, so on and so on. So it's it's whatever so but anyways um no nah, that was a pretty crazy video that guy was wild so but yeah make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to code blue cam for more videos like this like subscribe to me too talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and peace